is doing that. Calgary Forest Swan. Prime Minister, nearly 50% of Canadians say their finances have worsened over the past year. For newcomers, that pain is leading them to leave Canada, with 30% of young immigrants planning to leave in the next two years. Narendra is an engineer who messaged me, saying Liberal-caused interest rate hikes mean his paycheck is now being eaten up by his mortgage. He's, he can't afford food or necessities and is planning to leave Canada. Will the Prime Minister stop his inflationary spending, stop raising taxes, and stop driving people like Narendra out of Canada? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we know how important immigration is as a driver of our economic growth, as a counter to the, shortage, the labour shortages that we're facing across the country. That's why we've put forward an ambitious uh, immigration levels plan uh, that is uh, bringing in even more new Canadians so that they can ensure uh, they're, they're contributing to our economy, building a better lives uh, for themselves and their families, and meeting the needs of Canadian businesses and Canadian communities. We know there's more to do, but that's why we are making sure sure uh, that students like Narinder, engineers like Narinder, are able to continue to succeed in Canada to build a life for the future. Okay. Well, member for Calgary, Forrest Swan. Narinder wants to leave Canada, not stay here because of his inflationary policies. Okay. And it only makes sense that a Prime Minister who spends a year's rent on a four-night hotel stay would think more inflation will address the inflationary crisis he created. It's like he wants to return to the days of his father. With out-of-control spending, can Canadians' families, cupboards being bare, and when people were giving back their house keys back to the bank because they couldn't afford it. Yep. Canadians can't afford this costly coalition any longer. Will the Prime Minister stop the taxes, stop the inflationary spending, and stop his plans to triple, triple, triple the carbon tax? The right honourable Prime Minister. While the Conservatives engage in personal attacks and focus on me, we're going to continue to focus on helping Canadians, whether it's directly with a carbon uh, a price on pollution that is going to restore, put more money in the pockets of Canadians where it applies, whether it's moving forward with a GST rebate that's landing this Friday in, in many Canadians' households, or whether it's moving forward on low-income supports for renters and uh, support for dental care for kids, two in initiatives that Conservatives continue to stand against. Mr. Speaker, Canadians deserve a government that continues to stand up for them, not Conservative rhetoric. The Honourable Member for Chilliwack Hope. The Prime Minister was warned about his reckless spending. He was told it would lead to interest rate hikes and inflation, and he laughed off those concerns. But now, because of Liberal inflation, millions of Canadians are using the food bank every month, and millions more are skipping meals because they can't afford to buy basic groceries. They lay awake at night knowing they don't have the money to pay their bills, and this Prime Minister has the audacity to tell them they've never had it so good. When will he learn from his mistakes, cut his out-of-control spending, and stop raising taxes on Canadian families? The right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, while Conservatives are continuing to propose cuts, we're going to continue to be there for EI, we're going to continue to be there for CPP, we're going to continue to be there to deliver a, a, a price on pollution that puts more money in the pockets of Canadians where it applies. Mr. Speaker, we move forward with a GST rebate uh, that's going to help uh, 11 million households across this country starting to flow this Friday. The Conservatives reversed their position and chose to support it, which is good, but they still stand against support for low-income renters and support so people can send their kids to the dentist. These are things that would really help Canadians. Why are they opposed? Chilliwack Hope. What we're opposed to is a Liberal plan and Liberal policies that have led to millions of Canadians every month using food banks, cutting back on meals because they can't afford groceries. Even the future Liberal leader, Mark Carney, has said that this inflationary crisis has principally been created in Canada. The Prime Minister can't blame others for the crisis he's created, and Canadians can't afford more of the same failed Liberal policies. So when will he stop making things worse, stop his out-of-control spending, and stop raising taxes on Canadian families? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. 
<coughs> Mr. Speaker, the investments we're making in Canadians, whether it's with the GST rebate that's going to help, whether it's with low-income supports uh, for uh, renters uh, who need that extra support, or whether it's uh, making sure that all families can afford to send their kids to the dentist, are things that are going to help. Yes, there continue to be pressures because of global inflation, but the reality is we're going to continue uh, to be there for Canadians, and in uh, the economic statement we're putting forward tomorrow, people will see not just supports for families, but supports for the kinds of jobs and opportunities they need in the decades to come. Here, here.